The subjects involved in the ADF diet described above also had an average 4 centimeters decrease in waist circumference with a standard deviation of 1.68 centimeters. Assume the decrease in weight circumference has a normal distribution. And find the reduction in waist circumference achieved by the top 2% of dieters. dieters. So here we see this normal distribution. It tells us that we're working with a bell curve, but they're not asking for probability. Instead, they want us to find the reduction in waist circumference. Whenever they say that it's bell-shaped, but we're not looking for probability, we're going to use the inverse norm approach in our graphing calculator to do the problem. So let's go ahead and write down the information and draw a little picture to help us solve the problem. So we know it's bell-shaped. I'll draw a bell curve then. I'm going to label on the curve the mean and the standard deviation that they gave us in the problem. So when we read the problem, it said that the mean was 4 centimeters and the standard deviation was 1.68. They then went on to ask us for the probability, or not the probability rather, but the uh, reduction in waist circumference achieved by the top 2% of dieters. Okay, so let's label a little axis down here called the x-axis and let's put the mean at 4, right? So the top 2% of the dieters are the ones that achieve the biggest reduction in waist circumference. I'm going to say top 2% refers to the group that's here, right? This is the top 2% of dieters. It wouldn't be down here because that would be the bottom 2%. So we're going to put our cut in the curve here at the 2% mark saying that there's a top 2% here, leaving the remaining below that 98%. Do we agree with that? So in other words, this position here is called P98 because that's the 98th percentile, because behind this point all the way to the end, we have a total of 98% of the data. All right, the reason why that's important is because our graphing calculator wants to know what percent is below the line on the curve that we've drawn. And that's how the calculator will work. So what we're going to do to do this problem, and again, what we're trying to do is figure out what is that waste reduction. So in other words, the top 2% lost this amount or more. So the question is, um, what is that amount in waste reduction that they earned, right? So there's some circumference that they lost. We want to figure out what that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to press second, then the VARS key. And once we've done all that, our next step is to take option three, which in our calculator says inverse norm. Now once you do that, you have to enter the calculator three values of importance. The first is going to be the percentile, the P, as a decimal, make sure you enter it as a decimal, right? Then you need the mean, and then you need the standard deviation for the problem. So for our case, what it's going to be is inverse norm, point nine eight comma four comma one point six eight. If you enter that in your calculator, it's going to give us that waste reduction that we were looking for. So let's try that out now. So there's our graphing calculator. Turn it on. We're going to hit second bars. We're going to take option three this time, where it says inverse norm. And then I'm going to give it the values I just said, which is 0.98 comma the mean, which is 4, comma the standard deviation, which is 1.68. Close it up, hit enter, and we get our results. It tells us the weight circumference that they lost was 7.45. 7.45. So in other words, Basically around seven and a half inches was the cutoff between the top 2% and the lower 98%. That's quite a reduction in waist circumference.